Hey everybody, and uh, today we're going to do a recipe. It's a um, shrimp bowl in the Instapot, and this is adapted from a recipe that I got online, and I'm just making it for lunch, so it's just going to be a very small portion. You can add more, you can add, um, you know, the recipe called for a lot more than this, so I'm just kind of cutting it down, and so... Um, we'll see how it comes out just as like a small lunch for one to two people so anyway let's go over here and check out our ingredients okay the first ingredients i have are the shrimp and these are frozen um in the recipe i th believe his were already thawed but i'm going to do frozen shrimp today and they're just raw shrimp okay and I'm, there's probably about 10 shrimp in there and then I've got a half an onion. I've only got one corn on the cob, um, some salt, um, two small red potatoes, and I've just quartered, cut them in half. And then I have some Old Bay seasoning and some zatarans, and then some water. Okay, and then on the recipe, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna turn on saute just to warm up the pot, and the pot's gonna start heating up. Okay, and then it calls for um, six cups of water. I'm gonna go ahead and do the six cups because I wanna have plenty of water to cover everything. So I've already got four cups in there and I'm just gonna add about two more cups. Okay, and so that's gonna give me my six cups of water. Okay, and then, uh, okay, and on the Zatarans, we're going to add two um, teaspoons of Zatarans. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna pour this my teaspoon, I'm spilling it a little bit, but um, there's one teaspoon. And then I'm going to go back. And there is two teaspoons of Zatarans in there. Okay, and then it says to add the Old Bay seasoning. So this is the Old Bay. And we're going to add... Um, about one one to two tablespoons of that just whatever your preference is if you like it strong i'm gonna add um let's see this is my first tablespoon and i'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more about probably about another um half a tablespoon okay and then i'm just gonna stir that around going okay, I'm going to add just just a hair more okay Is that going real good okay and then it says to add one teaspoon of salt so I'm just going to kind of guesstimate it it's a bit about a teaspoon of salt in there okay and it's starting to heat up now it's starting to come to a bowl so we're going to add um, our onion, and I've got about, it's just one half of an onion. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there, and we're going to let that start heating up and come to a bowl. Okay guys, as you can see, everything is boiling in there now, so I am going to um, add in a little bit of um this Tony's more spicy seasoning. I love spicy stuff, so I you don't have to do this, but it's just something I wanted. I wanted to just try a little bit, so I'm just gonna add just a little bit because this stuff is kind of strong. So I'm gonna put that in there, and now that I've got it boiling, I'm going to add my corn. And the recipe online it didn't have you add the corn at this time, but my corn is frozen, so I want to add it and get it going a little bit. Um, gonna put it in there. Okay, and then I'm going to add in my potatoes. Get those going. Okay, and we are going to let this boil for about um, six minutes. Okay, guys, it has been six minutes and everything is still boiling good in there. So, what I have done, it didn't say to do this, but he actually had more stuff. The recipe I was looking at online actually had more stuff in there, more corn. And so, the seafood just kind of set on top of everything. So, what I, I did was I put it on the um, trivet. 
I put my shrimp on there. And so I'm going to take it and I'm going to place it on top. I'm going to put it like on top where it's not down in the water, but it just kind of is sitting almost on top of everything. Because we're going to like, basically we're going to be like steaming this. Okay. Let me get this. I'm going to put this a little bit more and get it kind of on top of the water. Okay, there you go. You can see. Okay, and now um, since my shrimp is frozen, I am going to, it says to cook this like this. We're going to turn it off. Saute. We're going to turn that off. Okay, and then we're going to put our top on. And we're going to make sure it's the back is turned to where it's sealing. Okay, and then it, we're going to set a um, manual time. And we're going to set it, I'm, he says five minutes, I'm going to do um, seven minutes because my shrimp is frozen. So I want to make sure it gets done and I'm just praying that that's not too long. But anyway, this is going to come up to pressure and after seven minutes, we're going to do a quick release and we're going to open the top, see what it looks like, see how it comes out. Okay, um, I did a quick release, and so we're almost down. The, it's going to drop down in just a second. We're almost quickly, almost got it all the way to the bottom. Just a little bit of steam left coming out, and then we're going to open this up and see what it looks like. Okay, my seal just fell down, so let's just open this up. Remember to open the lid away from you so the steam won't go in your face. Okay, well now we're going to look in here and see what we got. All right, that's looking good. Yeah, that's actually, I can smell the shrimp. Everything smells good and done. Yes, that shrimp is just, just right. I can tell it's just right. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try this. All right, um, I'm going to get some out for you. Let you see, we're going to check the, um, let's go ahead and get the, the shrimp out. Let's see if I can do it with the trivet. Okay, that's going to get most of it. And of course, it's a little bit hot, so we're going to put that down in there. It just smells, I mean, it smells amazing. You can see. And then the corn, everything looks good. Put the corn down in there. And then let's see about the potatoes. Alright, it looks like the potatoes are kind of falling apart, so they're just the right consistency. Alright guys, you can see, it turned out good. Looks like this is going to be another winner on the recipes. Alright guys, it looks like we have a winner on the recipe, so anyway, I'm going to go and have some, but um, everybody subscribe, like my page, like this video, and I hope that you found this video helpful, and um, y'all let me know if you have anything that you would like for me to cook or like for me to try. I love trying new stuff, and I am loving this Instapot. I'm loving trying out new things in it, so anyway, everybody have a wonderful, blessed day.